in the previous several uh, video we have already show about the concept of uh, different electronics component and the device now uh, today's topic is a very important things that's i think you know about the ic the ic we are used in the several computer uh, computers and laptop inside of the computer and laptop and also uh, if you concentrate if you think like that way that uh, uh, in your mobile uh, inside of your mobile there is some ICs so ICs looks like this so this type of IC we have already known several IC in motherboard you show this inside of the computer there is some motherboard looks like that so IC IC is basically the full form the IC is the integrated circuit and that first time in the electronics and electronics device that we have to study one very important IC that is the 741 IC 741 IC and which is the IC name is that OPAM this OPAM is a 741 IC now this IC is basically the integrated circuit here what happened uh, a complicated circuit is integrated with the very large scale integrations and then populated in a particular uh, chip that is called the IC integrated circuit in case of operational amplifier the same things is happen inside of the operational amplifier there is a complicated circuit and which circuit is integrated and populated in a particular small chip that is called the ic now the factor is that we go for the operational amplifier the first time and then we can understand that what is the reason behind this opam and all those things now This op-amp is basically this OP and this AMP. So as per the AOTT AP rules, we can say that op-amp is the operational and it is the amplifier. This is the amplifier and this is the operational amplifier. So both the term is coincidingly and connected with that and just represents as the operational amplifier. Now, as it is the operational amplifier, what is the meaning of this operation? What is the meaning of this amplifier? So, first of all, we go for target this particular thing that is the amplifications. Amplifications means, suppose there is a signal. This is the signal. And I want to amplify this signals. And after the amplification, these signals become like that. That means it's amplified, its amplitude become high, its amplitude become high. That is called the amplifications of the system. Now, here, as it is the amplifications of the system, so it is called the amplifier. So, what kinds of things is the op amp for that reasons? It is called the operational amplifier. The operational amplifier is a special type of amplifier. The operations amplifier is a special type of amplifier which can able to operate some operations. What kinds of operations? This op-amp means the operational, operational amplifier. What kinds of operations? Additions, subtractions, multiplications, divisions, integration, differentiations. This type of several mathematical operations math operations can be done by this operational amplifier that's why it is called the operational amplifier so this is the introductory part of the operational amplifier now next question i think it is in your eyes uh, in your mind suppose this is the ic of operational amplifier that is 741 So what is the meaning of this 741? Why it is called 
the 741. So for that reasons, you have to strike on the next video. Thank you very much. Well, so in the previous class, previous module, we have understand about the, we have introduced about the operational amplifier 741. And we know that it is a IC and it can operate some several mathematical operations and it can also amplify. So for that reasons, it is called the operational amplifier. So next, uh, we can understand about that we have some queries in the uh, in the previous module that the 741 I have you have already find out this particular things but the things is that today we can open that why it is called 741 why it is called the 741 these things in the previous class I keep these particular portions and keep this question that why it's called 741 and I hope that you have uh, searched it in through throughout the internet and here any here that why it is called 741 now things is that there is no any particular rules of 741 why it is called 741 the ic when the ic is generated at the time that uh, each and ic have some number suppose like you are using one mobile phone this mobile phone have a particular generic name this mobile phone have some particular technological name suppose if you go for the n72 one of the mobile name suppose if you go for uh, if you if, when if you are go for any kinds of uh, uh, your computer it's have also particular specific name if you go for the printer it's have also uh, also some name that is hp 5050 hp 4048 so like that so different things of the electronics things have a particular number like that way ic have a particular number and it is the 7 series IC at, at that time, this is the first time the analog device when it is developed, it, this type of name is given that the, it is IC741, IC741. Specifically, in case of IC, there is a very interesting thing that uh, I think you know some, uh, suppose this is the 741, okay. So I, I hope that it is clear that why it is called 741. There is no any particular generic rule that why it is called 741. It's the rules is that whoever, which company, which technological lab is developed these things, they can thinking about that with the generic name that what is the uh, IC name like that way, they can give the 741 name as per their uh, requirement basis or innovations basis concept. Now, this is the 741. Now, each and every IC, I think you know that uh, uh, whenever you are working in the laboratory, some some uh, um, some some part is in here, some part is in here. Part is in here means some writing suppose A D or uh, I N D like that. This type of terms is there. This type of terms is there. So, what is the reason behind this? What is the reason behind this? This is a very important thing. Suppose this is AD741 IN or suppose it is SN741 uh, uh, COM. So, what is the meaning of this? What is the, what is actually the, what is the meaning of this and this? Actually, in case of IC number, there is a one suffix and prefix number suffix and prefix number suffix and prefix number prefix name sorry suffix and prefix name in case of in in case of uh, prefix name you show that uh, this ad is representing the company name of this IFC. suppose this ad is for the analog device this ad for analog device suppose it is sn that means it is Siemens. So there is several types of IC uh, names are there. You just now search in your Google that uh, in your Google you search it uh, that uh, alldatasheet.com. You search it when you are searching this alldatasheet.com and you just write down uh, in the Google that uh, 741 IC. When you are writing the 741 IC 
in alldatasheet.com in the Google, then you get a several IC informations, different kinds of IC informations in the Google. And you show there is several companies are developing this 741 IC. Apart from the 741, several other kinds of ICs they are they are developing. And all the IC have some suffix and prefix name. All the IC have a suffix and prefix. This particular name is there. So this is the industrialization of the IC. That means who are developed, which lab is developed, which industry is developed. This IC, this things is representing in this part and the, this part. My dear student, this part is also very important. This part is very important, my dear student, that this part is representing the gradations of the IC. This part is gradation of the IC. This part is representing the gradations of the IC. So what is the gradations of, of the IC? IC gradations is two types. IC gradations is the, is the three types. Sorry, IC gradations is the three types. Three types. Number one. IC gradations is three types. Number one is a com grade. Number one is a com grade. Number two is the int grade. Number three is uh, the uh, mill grade. There is three gradations of the IC. One is the com grade IC. One is int grade IC. Another is mill grade IC. So, com grade, min grade, mill grade, three types of gradations of the IC. Uh, so, what is the meaning of these gradations, industrial gradations of the IC? The things is of these particular three gradations is that, uh, first of all, com grade means the commercial grade. Commercial purpose which IC is developed, that is the com grade. In in, the, in, in your electronics complex, if you considering in the Kolkata, that is the Chatni Chok, if you consider it in the Delhi, there is also another electronics complex up. If you go there and just want to buy some IC, that IC also is the, actually the com grade IC, commercial gradations IC, commercial gradations IC, okay. So, uh, whatever the IC, we are doing some innovative project whatever by using what IC we are we, we, we are working with some uh, practical examinations these are all commercial gradations I see all are com grade IC these are all com grade IC okay now next one is the end grade IC end grade IC ingress means the industrial gradations IC end grade means the industrial gradations IC in grade means the industrial gradation IC. What is industrial gradation IC? Industrial gradation IC means suppose uh, suppose uh, uh, one company is want to develop one particular product. For that reasons, one IC is necessary, which is specific use for this particular uh, device. Suppose I am saying that uh, uh, suppose. Uh, Suppose Samsung, I'm just giving you some example. Don't take it a very complicated way or realistic way. Suppose Samsung want to develop one ice, one particular mobile. Okay. So for that reasons, suppose Samsung have no capability to develop the IC, which is very much required for this particular mobile. Specifically for that reasons, they are connected with the Siemens. They are asking with the Siemens that Siemens, do you able to develop this IC? Siemens said, yes, I can develop this IC. We have the setup to develop this IC. And Siemens, Siemens take the uh, uh, take, take the uh, order from the Samsung. But there is one trade secret for the Samsung that they have some more with the Siemens and the uh, Samsung that Samsung will get the IC from the Siemens and Siemens will not disclose these things and which is the IC is requirement basis for the purpose of this particular product, this particular uh, uh, mobile phone which is developed by the Samsung. That means the for the purpose of this particular Samsung mobile that IC is developed by, uh, by, the, uh, by Siemens. Okay. So, uh, so for that point of view, this IC 
technology is ic is a very important fundamental things and this is the industrial gradation ic so what i have covered i have covered the concrete ic and then industrial gradation industrial gradation means specific for the purpose of one product if any ic is developed for the industrial purpose industrial gate that is the industrial gradation ic that is called the industrial gradation ic this ic is not available in the market so this ic is not available in the market at present still now next is a very important thing and which is really very important i think you know about uh, drdo defense research organizations of india and i think you know about the isro also and also you know about uh, nasa also so these are the space uh, organizations of america united states india isro and the defense organizations is the drdo vel also is there so things is that uh for these are very much confidential department and also these are the department where a very uh, highly efficient types of ic and all those things are required for the purpose basis suppose there is a project in india is a mock project for that reason a specific ic is required so it is a it is not only the trade secret it is a highly confidential secret so for that highly confidential things so for that reasons the purpose basis any kinds of ic is develop for the purpose of the confidential mill gate that means military grade for the military grade concept for the defense purpose that is called the mill grade ic that is called the mill grade ic mill for military 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 gradations ic okay so in several books that can be represented in the different way in my point of view to present is the very easiest way to you for that reason i am representing it com in and mill types of things there is three types of ic which is representing in this positions of the ic that things mainly whatever the ic we are using in the market all are the com grade type ic all are the communicate com commercial part of the ic so for that reasons we have no idea about the indirect and mill gate ic but if you if you if you will visit it in the isro if you will visit it in the uh, in drdo or any kinds of industrial training then you can understand about they you can ask these questions to them for the mill gate ic and if you want to visit any kinds of ic industry in, at that time they can understand about the indirect ic that is the industrial gradation ic they have the they have the information of the in gate ic and the mill gate ic so these are the ic part basically whatever whatever we study we just conclude that 741 there is no any particular meaning of the uh, of this particular number there is a ic suffix and the prefix prefix and the suffix which is representing the company name or who had developed this thing this things and this side is representing the uh, gradations of the ic there is three numbers there is three types of gradations one is the com grade another is the in gate another is the mill gate so this three and i my dear students this is very very important for you to understand about the ic as a electronics engineer or uh, that what is the ic name and why this first portion why this suffix and prefix are there why the ic full from full name is like that so again we are concentrated on the 741 from the next we, we can understand about the ic and from the next we can understand we can understand about the deeply about the operational amplifier thank you very much